Hey guys, welcome to Iron Reviews, the show where I bring you Marvel and DC content, and today we review Superman issue 14. The comic begins with Superman just having a little drive and listening to music. I mean, it seems like nothing could go wrong, right? Well, something strange happens and Superman sees another Superman in the road and this Superman is the Red Sun Superman? Okay, I am totally interested in this, 100%. Clark goes to help Red Sun. Superman cause it seems like he was injured but by what? Well, Red Superman explains where he came from. Apparently someone is coming after Red Sun Superman and apparently the leader of this group is called Prophecy and his gatherers have hunted him down and imprisoned him for his power. But luckily he escaped in just a nick of time because as he escaped he informs Clark that he overheard that their next target is Kenan Kong, the new Superman of Japan. Sadly their conversation conversation is cut off by the intervention of the gatherers, who are strange five-armed man-like creatures and they announce that they will not jeopardize the list. They explain he and another one will be consumed and terminated, but apparently Clark isn't on this list, so that's strange. The Superman and gatherers start the battle over Red Sun Superman and they're being overwhelmed by their power, so they decide to finish this quickly with a good dose of heat vision which doesn't kill the gatherers but knocks them down for a while. After this, both heroes get another strange visitor from the Justice League Incarnate. This group explains that they're all heroes assembled from multiple universes and they have a task to protect the multiverse from cosmic threats. And they've been tasked to stop the gatherers from kidnapping Superman around the multiverse. Yeah, apparently Red Sun, Superman, and Keenan Khan aren't the only one the gatherers have their eyes on, they've kidnapped multiple Superman to steal their powers. The Superman in the Justice League Incarnate, who's the president as we find out, informs both Superman that they have to find Keenan Kong before the gatherers take him away. We cut to Yi River where Keenan Kong is enjoying a nice view in Japan. Aw, that's nice, nothing could go wrong, right? Wait, I said this earlier, of course something could go wrong, and indeed something does as the gatherers appear to kidnap Keenan Kong. Keenan Keenan actually seems to be doing well against these guys, but that is until the gatherers throw some weird black goo at Keenan that wraps around Keenan, taking him out of the fight, and the gatherers go to take Keenan away. The group of heroes comes too late as the gatherers are already teleporting away with Keenan, and as Clark goes to grab Keenan, he grabs a gatherer instead. Clark tells them to track Keenan down before they lose him, but there is actually something strange going on on and that thing is apparently every time the gatherers take a superman away from their universe they completely drop off the multiversal map so they don't know where they go or even where they are but the heroes are still determined to find and save all the supermen the comic ends with captain carib being put into some sort of machine and having the power drained out of him but after that, he comes out as just a regular rabbit in a costume. Aw, isn't that adorable? I mean, having all of his power gone, that sucks, but that's still cute. Superman issue 14 is a nice start to this brand new story arc. This reminded me of Spider-Verse, and I really liked Spider-Verse, and I think I have a good vibe about this story. It's really interesting to see Superman team up with multiversal heroes to stop this threat, and it's actually cool to see this multiversal team. I wonder why we don't see much of them in the comics. I mean, I think I would be interested in a book that stars this team. I like the idea of the Superman being kidnapped for their power and having it being drained out of them and by the looks of it from Captain Carrot being turned normal with just a silly costume. That's all. I'm excited to see this story play out and I have to say I see nothing wrong with this issue. It's a good start to this new story arc with good art and good story. I think I give this an A out of 10 and I'm excited to find out more about this story. Hey guys, thanks for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Iron Reviews. And check out my Twitter at IronHulk018. My name's August and until then.